All right, bike lanes like this one in downtown Chandler are designed to keep bicyclists safe. Now, ASU, U of A, and the Rob Dollar Foundation are taking that safety one step further, and they've now designed a new device that goes on the handlebars of a bike, and it collects data, snapping photos in real time if a driver gets too close and then sends that information to police. 45 to 50 images snapped in seconds. It's a data capture device that will help us understand how many cyclists are being buzzed by cars uh, within three feet. That's the idea behind Cycle Safe. Just this month, several riders were hit by a driver in Tempe. And you may remember last year, two cyclists were killed and nearly 20 others hurt in Goodyear. And in 2017, a driver admitted to drinking and smoking the night before he hit and killed 36-year-old Rob Dollar. He made such an impact on the community. Chris Purcell rode and was close friends with Rob. He's now the vice president of the Rob Dollar Foundation. To be able to go through a situation of losing a good friend uh, and turn those emotions into actions and be able to do something positive with it is a way of healing. Right now, there are limited regulations for drivers who crash into bike riders. According to Arizona law, drivers must respect cyclists' right to share the road and maintain a distance of not less than three feet. This app and this device is one step closer to holding drivers accountable for getting too close to cyclists, including what happened with your friend. Yeah. Do you think more needs to be done? Absolutely, and I think it's not only holding drivers accountable, but it, it's, it's changing legislation. Uh, it's getting city uh, officials, law enforcement to think differently about this. Purcell hopes to have Cycle Safe out within a year. It's not a bike, it's a life, it's a human, it's a mother, it's a father, it's a child. In Chandler, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.